A constant question that keeps popping up for all of the seasons and just different challenges that we get is how do I get blocks? What is the best method to get blocks, X? So in this video, I'll be showing you guys the best method, at least that I have found, in order to get blocks basically every single time and get them the quickest way. So if you are excited or you just find this video informative at all as we get on throughout it, hit the like button and consider hitting that subscribe button as well. We are on the road to 10K subscribers. So the, I'll show you guys the main one that I think this one is gonna be really helpful for you guys, at least in XP right now, and I bet you we see some ones later. And that is gonna be with this Channing Fry challenge right here. Get 15 blocks with Gladiator Channing Fry over multiple games. You can see I haven't done it, but 15 blocks for 2000 XP, it's not too bad of a deal. And the Shining Fry did get a bit of a boost to its speed, and it's looking pretty nice. I do suspect that we will get some more blocks challenges or things like that. Or this could even help you if you are somebody that's trying to grind through some of the uh, triple threat offline spotlights. There are a few challenges throughout here and there. So if you're looking for something like that, I got you. I can help you out. Don't worry. So... First off, you're going to want to just look at your team in general. So for this Channing Fry card, we got to check out to see if he actually has a good block or if we're going to need to boost that a little bit. Um, you can see we've been 92 blocks. So you know what? That's going to be pretty good. He's got a long wingspan. He is um, 7 foot and this method will work for everybody. So that is that. But if your card does have a pretty low, um, I guess, overall block rating, you can go over and add some shoes. I did keep one specific gold shoe right here, which has a boost to block, three point and steel, but mainly I only care about the block. So if you have some shoes, you've kept them up and maybe that gives a boost to a block. It'll make it a little bit easier. Move that up to a 95. There are also badges, um, the most important one of which is going to be chase on artists for this method. If you have it and you want to add it, you can. I think it might be a current only badge though, so I don't know. but. You can add it to cards um, that will help out. And the last thing you can do is change it for coach. I only keep my one coach, my Tiantoni, who is really expensive and doesn't actually give a boost to block. But if you were to go ahead and look for a coach, seek one out that would give you a good boost. I can tell you guys who that would be. In, well, I'll go over here, franchise. We'll go to coaches, and I can show you some of the diamond ones. In Mike Budenhoser, defense. There are some amethyst ones as well that can give you a boost in um, there are some defense ones like Brad Stevens, and I think there might be one other one in defense in the Ruby section. Oh, there we go. Grip off the chest. I was thinking about an amethyst. So those three guys are the best ones to give you a boost. They'll give you plus four at amethyst level and plus five on the diamond level to your actual block. So that's all of the, uh, I guess, prep work getting done uh, to help you out. And now it's actually about the getting the steals themselves. How do we actually go about getting the steals? Well, there's two methods or two game modes that I would recommend you go into. Triple Threat Offline, just because you can get random opponents, and usually it'll be a guard, a forward, or um, a center. Sometimes, you know, it's guard, 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 or forward, forward, forward. But for the most part, you will see at least one point guard in there, and that's all we're looking for. We just need one PG in there. So Triple Threat Offline gives us a good random bout, bout <laughs> to actually get them, which is cool. Or you can head into some of these Triple Threat Offline spotlights because they are on pro difficulty. If you already are super far up in Triple Threat Offline, like I am myself, um, we have the Jonte Murray, DeMar DeRozan, and Kelda Johnson, all three pretty small guys that we can use um, to get blocks on. And I think actually one of the most useful ones may be the Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, the Toronto Raptor one, because you have Kyle Lowry in there, who is a six foot guard. And it's going to be a lot easier to block with a lot of cards, especially if you're going for somebody like uh, Kawhi Leonard to get blocks with on some of them. It, it's definitely going to be a little bit helpful um, to do it this way. Or there is a challenge in... Um, I think the uh, 2015 All-Star Game 1 over here in the actual um, first spotlights that we got in this DeMarcus Cousins Challenge. The 2015 Skills Challenge has three point guards in there, which will be pretty easy. doesn't really matter who you're lining up with, but you can do this one as well um, if you're looking for some shorter guys to get some blocks with. But I'm going to personally load it up into the uh, Kyle Lowry one over here for the Toronto Raptors because I think it's a little bit easier. And you're going to want to set it up um, any possible way you want. If you have a lot of options and you can make it so that your guy they're going for blocks with can be the point guard, then you can do that. Um, or if you're playing in triple threat offline, what I recommend you do is generally this setup. You're going to want to, whenever it loads, go to advance and you're going to have your one guy in there with two bronze players. Um, I prefer to do it this way where I have a bronze, two bronzes that are shorter than my guy. That way he'll be um, the center and then I can switch matchups. But that's the general way to go. And then if you're just doing one of these spotlights, just make sure that he's one of the short, he's the shortest guy in your team. Uh, so for this one, I'll go Chain and Fry, who is a seven footer. We'll go to our centers where we got to find some real tall guys who like Greg Oden is only seven foot. 
but we got David Robinson who is going to be 7-1 so we'll throw him into that lineup and then we will also find somebody else that is fun and tall like a James Donaldson who's 7-2 that way Channing Fry is our point guard and now we can load into the actual game and I'll show you what to do once you're actually in it all right, so once we're actually in the game, you have to get on to the defensive side. So we're just going to go through here, and I'll take a quick little three. We'll chuck that up and get a green, and we're going to just make sure that our man Channing Fry is on to Kyle Lowry. Now, I'll show you in sped up motion here. We're going to take it. We're going to kind of let Kyle Lowry drive in a bit, and then once we get into the paint, you can see, kind of go for a chase down block. I didn't do it the greatest that time, but we'll just come down again, chuck another three, get a green, and come down here and wait. So... What you're going to want to do is you see, whenever Kyle Lowry gets it, this one's going to be Gary Trent, of course. All right, I guess I'll do it with David Robinson. You want to play it off and let them get to the paint and kind of do that and go for chase down blocks um, kind of thing. I'll speed this up and get this three done. All right, so they give it to Gary Trent now, but you're going to want to see which side he wants to drive to. This one's right down the middle, so we'll let him go there. And then once he gets to the paint, boom, just like that, we're going to drop down and press, you know, triangle to get that block right then and right there, uh, making it pretty easy. Again, I will, um, I guess, play the clip back right now and slow it down just a little bit, and we'll see it. So you can see when we first start off, Gary Trent is wanting to go to the middle, so we're going to let him go to the middle. Let him drive there, step off to the left, and then once he gets right even with us and starts to get that first step away, we're going to then hit turbo and run down and then hit triangle once he's right about to go up for that layup or that dunk. You don't want to hit it too early, and then once you do that, it's a nice and easy block with David Robinson, and it's not too bad. So... Here we are again, giving it to Kyle Lowry. You can see he wants to go to the right, so we're just going to press up to the left a little bit once he drives in. Boom, there it is. And you can even get those animations where he pulls up and nice and easy blocks that way. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and that's why you want to have some shorter guys because we're going to make sure our center is put onto it. If you're in triple threat offline, again, just make sure the matchup is set correctly, and you can just keep seeing what side they want to go on and go for blocks that way. Again, if you're looking for what matchups, you have to hit the uh, top um, left button L1 at least on PlayStation not quite sure what it is on Xbox but you press that brings up the matchup screen hit whatever button you are on and then you can switch it out again he's going left we're gonna let him go left go inside and go for the block Gary Trent is a lot better at getting dunks than Lowry so it's pretty difficult but you know that's kind of the um, general scheme of it I guess I should intentionally yeah you know if you're close like this I guess you intentionally can turn it over um, and do it that way just to have some fun with it and again we'll take it over here Lowry wants to go right we'll let him go right jump in last second and he takes that thumb 360 layup and stops it uh, but you kind of get the the gist of it um, what you're looking to do so um, again I'll throw again two of the clips up where we got the two blocks and show you again what we're doing um, for the first one again we have Gary Trent he's looking to go to the middle right to the right so we're stepping off to the left a little bit we're waiting for him to go down once he gets that step right by us we're gonna hit turbo we're gonna go down and then jump up when you see him going for that animation or you can get a little bit ahead of yourself and jump a little bit 2k kind of has some bailout blocks you can get uh, which is nice and then for the Kyle Lowry one again he wants to go right so we're gonna let him go right once he gets that set by us we're gonna run this one we did a little bit too early we ran a little bit too early which is why he takes that little floater but once you see him taking the floater you try and go you block it it's nice and easy that's exactly why you're using the taller centers um in here because it makes it easier for you to block some of those shorter guys and get those easy blocks because you're basically sending all of those guys who are shorter i mean a seven footer blocking a six foot guy isn't really that difficult so that's generally the method that i've been taking um there are some card evos where you think you have to get blocks um with mel daniels i did this exact same method last season we had kareem abdul jabbar he had to get i think 10 blocks get it that way um artist gilmore or some of those other guys might need some blocks either way this method works for every single one if blocks have to be used this is what i'm doing every single time to get them i did it with lebron james it was actually pretty simple even with a guy with a 48 block I was able to get it done and have it nice, simple, and easy. So hopefully this helped you guys out. And if it did, please smash the like button down below. I also have a steals method video already on the channel. If you are struggling with steals, that one is out on the channel and should be able to help you guys out. Um, there are other ways to get blocks, but this is the most easy, consistent, simple one that I found to do because you can do it while grinding up other challenges. Like if you had to get some threes or something like that, you can just shoot a three with the other player and then make sure on defense you have that matchup set to the point guard pretty simple um subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well we are on that right to 10k subscribers and comment what you guys think of the method if there's any other ways that you personally are doing it i do suspect we have more block challenges coming so hopefully this will help you out later in the season hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video